So I bought something from Mulanzi here, and it cost a whopping 280 Hong Kong dollars. That's right, 280 Hong Kong dollars, which, after being converted, is approximately $35.86 in US dollars for this light and this little tripod here. So let's unbox these, shall we? So first we'll go ahead and open up this little tripod. I wanna say I have one just like this already somewhere. And here is the tripod. So you can hold it just like this or open it right up like so. Oh, nice. It has a uh, nice rubber feet on it. And this is not moving anywhere. So this is nicer than the one that I already have. And looking at the bottom, you can't really adjust it. So you have to screw it onto the top. All right, onto the light. Now this cube light is meant for laptops or like if you're using the selfie cam on your cell phone. Open this up. So there's a nice little ribbon here at the top. And there it is. Here's the instructions. Probably don't need those. But one thing we do need is for you to hit subscribe. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Oh, that's cool. That's magnetic. That is cool. So we got USB-C and a dimmer here. Let's turn this on. There's actually two dimmers. Wow, that's pretty bright. Oh, there we go. We got the different uh, different shades that it supports here. Turn it way up so you can kind of see this. So it's basically going between like the blue and an orange. Hold down the power button, turns off. Here's the suction cups. That is not going anywhere. Wow, that is pretty nice. And we got a USB-C charging cable. And of course, nothing to charge it with because that costs more money for the company to manufacture it. And if that upsets you, then boycott Apple phones because hey, they started it. <laughs> so let's look and see what this looks like without the diffuser on it. So that is the minimum, and here is the max. Wow, that is really bright. Let's check it out on my other camera here. Ooh, that's bright. Wow, that is uh, very bright. Cool. So it was under 40 bucks. You think it's worth it? Got it on uh, Kickstarter actually, so I'm not sure when this will be out, say to purchase like on Amazon or whatever, but the build quality of it is nice. I'm not sure what this is here, if that comes off or not, right here. But anyways, it does have the thread mount here. So we can take that and just screw it right on. There we go. And voila. It's out of frame, but there you go. Cool. So I want to show you something here in the manual that is uh, definitely incorrect. Let's see if we can see that here. So this is showing 360 degrees, but that is not possible. And let me show you what I mean. So you can see the hinge. Here is approximately 180 degrees. 360 is to go all the way around. This is probably closer to about a 200 degree tilt range, but uh, 
I don't know. We'll see here. After further struggling with this, I finally found out what they meant by the 360 degrees. So this will actually turn here. So to be able to store, it'll go like that, right? Then to be able to use it, it turns around like so. Now we can take this and stick it right on the back of the phone. I'm gonna do a test with this. Okay, so I have the lights in my office turned off and I'm doing like the selfie camera here. There we go, so I'm recording now using my camera. The only thing that is providing light is the monitors in front of me. So let me turn this on. Hey Google, turn off the office light please. This is pretty good. So what do you think? This is the camera here. Hey Google, turn off the office light please. And you can see the computer. Oh, of course the office light came back on. But anyways, this is a nice capable light, especially for the price. You really can't beat it. And this is on here. Let's do a test. This is not coming off. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to... Wow, look at that. It's pulling the case off of my phone. <laughs> Crazy. All right, so I'm going to slide this off. Wow. Jeez, that is some insane suction. I bet you could probably stick this on a car or something and it's just not gonna go anywhere. Man, it doesn't wanna come off my desk either. Crazy. Now, Ulanzi, if you're watching, this is impressive. I do like it. I do feel that it is worth the money that I spent on it. Although the instructions could uh, definitely use some better translation. That is pretty slick. And Ulanzi, this makes me wonder whether or not this comes out just because of the design of how it was manufactured. Also, one other thing that I noticed is it smells like a shoe store, like rubbery shoes. It's, I, don't, I really don't know how to say it any yeah, other than that. So if you don't like the smell of new shoes, then don't buy this uh, or let it air out before using it. This is cool, and I definitely love the magnetic capabilities of it right here. Just bam. It's awesome. So when this does come to market, is this something that you're going to be buying, and what are you going to be using it for? Tell me down in the comment section below. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit that like button. I'll catch you in the next one.